90 Day Fiancé star Josh's son Jed is recovering at a miraculous speed, but reveals how his accident took away his leg and his dear friend's life 90 Day. The single life star Josh Weinstein's son Jet Weinstein revealed how he suffered a life threatening injury in the unfortunate accident that took his friend's life. Josh is the CEO of a modeling agency who appeared in the single life season too as Natalie Mordopseva's boyfriend. Josh and Natalie were together for over two years while she was still married to Mike Youngquist. Natalie broke up with Josh in a recent single life season four episode because he wasn't showing commitment in the relationship. Amid their split, Josh announced that his son had met a tragic accident in February 2024. Chet spoke to 12 News about surviving the crash that killed his friend. Chet and his friend Jackson Elliott were on their way home from snowboarding on February 4 in Flagstaff. Jet and Jackson's car hit a guardrail on I-17 near Corda Junction. The guardrail speared into the car, leading to Jackson's immediate death. I was laying back and all I remember was just a big impact, Jet said. He revealed that the whole guardrail was stuck on his body and he couldn't get up. Jet said that if he were sitting up, the guard would have killed him. Josh's ex-wife and Jet's mom... Candace Mishler told 12 News that she was tracking her son's location when the accident happened. Candace noticed that the car stopped near Corda Junction, after which it refreshed and showed her that Jet was at Honor Health Deer Valley, which is a medical center in North Phoenix, Arizona. She was told that the odds of Jet losing both his legs were high as they prepared her for the next steps. Jet's leg was amputated, and he has undergone seven surgeries so far. He is currently in an inpatient rehab facility. Josh's son Jet spoke about how his recovery process involves a lot of physical and occupational therapy. Jet had to take therapy for three hours every day. Meanwhile, Candace is just glad that Jet is alive. Jet's medical team believes that his recovery, which is taking place at a rapid rate, is nothing short of a miracle. Jet is thankful to everyone who prayed for him. He now wants to go see his friend Jackson's family once he leaves the facility. Jet's goal for next winter is to get back to snowboarding, even though he has lost his leg. There was an outpouring of support toward Josh, Jet, and their family after the accident took place. Several students had gathered at Jet's school a few days after the crash to remember Jackson and pray for Jet. Josh had taken to Instagram to ask his followers to donate and raise money for his son's treatment. The GoFundMe has raised over $34,000 so far with a $50,000 goal.